ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday afternoon, the 27th of August. I'm James Spann, and all eyes are focused on Gustav, so let's get right down to business. First off, where we are now, weather much improved today. Look at that. Got some sunshine. That's the view coming from our sky cam up in Cullman. A broken field of cumulus clouds, but uh, nice to see the sun back after some very wet weather from Fay. Up in uh, the Tennessee Valley, there's a look at the Huntsville sky cam, a similar sky there. Temperatures are generally in the mid-80s. And there's our Gulf Shores camera. That's on top of the Phoenix All Suites right there at the intersection of Alabama 59, better known as Gulf Shores Parkway, and Alabama 182 or Beach Boulevard uh, right by the public beach. And don't you know that camera could get interesting early next week. On the water vapor satellite imagery this afternoon, uh, Fay is still there moving away from us. It's producing heavy rain over the middle Atlantic coast region, places like Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Pittsburgh. But around here, dry air is the story taken over. So we'll be dry through uh, Friday. Great weather for the high school football games that kick off this week, tomorrow night and Friday night. But let's get down to business. We've got uh, our twin systems, Gustav and Another way that more than likely will become Tropical Storm Hannah. Uh, Hannah is the system to the east. Gustav is moving uh, off the uh, coast of Haiti, not too far from Jamaica, and the eastern tip of the island of Cuba. And uh, it is not particularly well organized at this point. It's been interacting with the mountainous island of Hispaniola, but again, it should uh, grow stronger again in coming days. Modeling, well... Not a lot of change. This is the 12Z set of models. We know we're beginning to see a little more of a spray here. Uh, we got the no gaps, wants to take it to Apalachicola. And that's why we say, you know, we, all along here, we've talked about everybody from uh, Corpus Christi to Tampa Bay will need to watch this. So the no gaps is an outlier to the east. The uh, GFDL is very problematic. It brings it right up toward New Orleans. The uh, Hurricane Wharf, uh, the HWRF, that thing brings it up toward the... Uh, uh, well, Pascagoula, right around the Alabama-Mississippi border. Other models are similar but slower. Here's the official track. And, boy, that's problematic right there for our friends uh, in uh, New Orleans, Biloxi, Gulfport, Dauphin Island, and Gulf Shores. Uh, we wrote this up on our afternoon discussion, the uh, Coastal Impact Statement. We believe the highest risk of landfall will be from Morgan City, Louisiana, to Gulf Shores, Alabama. Uh, Monday, Monday afternoon or Monday evening. And again, that track goes in line with that thinking. Uh, the intensity forecast is a whole lot more tricky here. It is the guys at the NHC say, as we say, there is little skill in forecasting the intensity of a hurricane days in advance. So I can't tell you if it's going to be a major hurricane or a minimal hurricane, but let's look at some modeling. This is the Hurricane WRF and the pressure here is 916 millibars. That's a big one. That'd be a major Category 4, maybe a 5. Now, we note the this model has shifted a little bit to the west. It, it looks like it's coming up more toward Morgan City. That is really an outlier to the west. Here's the GFDL. And, boy, that's very problematic for the central Gulf Coast. That's got the thing uh, really passing just east of New Orleans, up coming up toward Pass Christiane. That's uh, about the track Hurricane Camille took in 1969. And note the intensity, 936 millibars with a uh, wind speed at 950 millibars. That's just off the ground of 123 knots. Uh, and, uh, again, uh, that would be a major hurricane. Could it happen? Absolutely. Could it be weaker? Yes. There's some school of thought there could be a little southwesterly shear and a chance of some drier air being entrained in this that would weaken it somewhat. But, boy, we sure can't guarantee that. The bottom line is nobody knows. Everybody's, you know, as I said in the Brick and Bubba show this morning, everybody's got two armpits and an opinion on where this thing is going. But nobody knows the intensity at this point. But, again, Morgan City to Gulf Shores, that's the best target we have now. Hannah, the other one, I say Hannah, it's a tropical wave now could become Hannah. There's the modeling. And again, you can see uh, most of the models, except for the BAM set, they bend it, uh, recurve it out to sea. 
And again, it's too early to determine if that will impact the east coast of the United States, but more than likely that will not be a Gulf of Mexico problem. Uh, The GFS at 1 o'clock tomorrow, this is at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. Nice trough coming through the northern plain state. That looks like fall, doesn't it? And uh, down below that, we'll take a look at the uh, surface chart, and uh, you can see that uh, we are totally dry tomorrow. It should be a sunny day with a high in the low 90s. Come on now, don't forget this is August. So a very uh, warm and dry day tomorrow. Friday, same deal. Uh, we're in great shape, mostly sunny, low 90s likely. And we note uh, on the GFS, we got Gustav down there just off the uh, south coast of Cuba. Saturday, starting off the weekend, a front easing down into the northern part of Alabama, but it's losing its upper air support. And that might trigger a shower somewhere. Not many, but a few spots could see a shower Saturday. And then Sunday, the front dissipates. It's off the board, and uh, again, we note the blob of moisture down to the south. The GFS is not really identifying Gustav very well. Uh, Monday of next week, uh, looking for any uh, upper air steering current ideas here, and uh, uh, big trough back in the Pacific Northwest, but pretty far removed from this thing. But down below that, the GFS is a broad low south of New Orleans, very broad. And then Tuesday, it just kind of sits there. It doesn't know what to do with it. The European, now, this has been an outlier to the West. Now, you know, yesterday at this time, the European had the thing making landfall on the Mexican coast, way south of Brownsville, Texas. Today, it's coming into Galveston. Uh, And, uh, again, it's slowly adjusting closer to the other models. And, again, this is a clear outlier. Wednesday, back to the GFS, it's very strange. Just sits this blob of moisture on the coast with nothing here. But understand if... Gustav comes up like a Katrina or a Camille. It will be very wet and very windy here on Tuesday of next week with potential for widespread tree and power line damage. But again, we'll deal with that later. We just are not comfortable in forecasting that yet. Quickly, at the end of the cycle on the 10th of September, ridging across the deep south. Hey, some kind of big tropical system off in the Atlantic, well east of Chesapeake Bay. And again, uh, Looks like a tropical system coming up around Baja. But as we all know, this is pure voodoo at this point. We'll deal with that later. Uh, That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on our blog, alabamawx.com. If you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes, that is a great resource that is frequently updated. Uh, And it will be for the next seven days or until Gustav is gone. If you're in the Birmingham area, watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. The next video here by 7 a.m. tomorrow, Central Time. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Weather, 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 weather.